Hi everyone, this is Vi from Sparkling Faces and today I'm going to be doing a Christmas mask for you. Um, this is going to be a request from Kristen, one of my awesome friends. <laughs> um, she's actually also the one that co-hosts the monthly demo with me. So check out her YouTube, I'll put the link below. And so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start in the center of the face and you're going to make little flicks going outwards in one direction. And we are actually trying to mimic pine needles almost. And you're just going to go all the way around the bottom of your eye. Now once you flicked all the green all the way around the bottom of your eye, you're going to go back and then flick outwards. Okay, so now once you have this part done, you're going to go back and repeat the same process above the eyebrow on the other eye. So now we have something like this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be loading my brush with Metallic Green by Diamond Effect. Okay, and all you're going to be doing is going over certain pine needles with the Metallic Green, and all that does is add a little bit of sparkle to your design, so it creates a little bit more interest. Now I'm picking up my trusty low Cornell number no. 2, the one with the flat blue handle, and I'm going to be loading it with Diamond FX White. So for th this design, we're going to be creating two types of peppermints. We're going to be doing those little round circle peppermints and then also um, candy canes. So the first thing we're going to be doing is adding the candy cane into the design. And this white is pretty good, so it should just go right over the green. Okay, so I reloaded my brush with white, and now I'm going to be adding the little circular peppermints. And I'm just going to add a big one right here. Okay, and then maybe a little one, a smaller one right there. And I'm going to repeat it on this side underneath the eye. Okay, so now we're going to let the white dry so that when we apply the red for the candy cane, it doesn't bleed into the white. So while we're waiting for this to dry, um, just rinse out your brush. I'm using the same low Cornell number two, and we're going to add little ornaments to the pine needles. And first, I'm going to be using red. And in the same fashion as the circular peppermints, we're going to be making circles. So I'm going to hang a little ornament off of this branch right here. And so I'm just going to make a circle like that. And then I'm going to hang one right here. And then maybe have one right there. Okay, so now... Okay, now with your gold, you're just going to add a little highlight to the red. Okay, and then make a little circular, like a little circle on top of the red circle. So now I think our white is dry, so we're just going to go back with red and put in the red candy cane design. 
So for the red design, I switched over to a Royals Crafters Choice. I think this is a number one. It's um, the smallest one that comes in the package for the Royals Crafters Choice. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a dot in the middle of the circular candies and I'm going to make a C shape going from the outside to the inside okay and then I'm going to do a U shape on the other side connecting to that center okay and then you just repeat the same process going up and down Okay, and now you're going to make the outside edge thicker than the inside edge. Hopefully that looks like candy to you. So you're just going to repeat the same process on all the other candies. Okay, so for now, for the candy cane in the middle, you're just going to make a series of diagonal lines um, and that'll finish off your candy cane. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with black and I'm going to be doing a little bit of outlining. So now what you're going to do is, using the black, you're just going to make a few um, flicks on the pine needles to just give them a little bit more depth. And you actually want them rather small, you don't want a lot of black in your pine needles. So now you get to the fun part. We're going to be adding in some snow, um, probably a few dots and a few teardrops, and then you'll be done. So first we're going to be adding the snow in the design, and I'm just going to put some snow on all the items in the design. So just a little bit of snow on top of the Christmas ornament. Okay. And you can do it a, a lot of different ways. I'm just using a series of dots to make snow. So now that you have the snow on, just reload your brush with white and we're going to go in and add a few teardrops and some dots. It kind of makes it look like there's snow there, so. <clears throat> okay, I think that looks pretty good. 
So the last thing I'm going to do is add some glitter. So once you add your glitter, you are completely done. I hope you like it, and I hope you like it, Kristen. Um, this is my special request design for you, and I will see everyone next time. Thanks.